Hello everybody and welcome to my hallway. Now you will recognize this hallway because if we spin on over to the end, you should be seeing some pretty familiar things. This door that leads to the spooky room and this corner that we decorated and made beautiful last Christmas. Notable upgrades include this incredible Incredible shelf, <laughs> incredible shelf that I found on Facebook Marketplace for like less than a hundred bucks. It was like $80. I couldn't, but it's solid. It's perfect. Most, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Also over here is the wallpaper room where you are on the other end of this hallway is where the reading nook is that we renovated a couple months ago. This hallway has been so strange. What I mean by that is that I, fully thought I'd be finished it by now, but it has eluded me. I haven't done anything else in this house in such a piecemeal way. It's been like, I'll do this little corner and I'll do the reading nook and I'll do the, the stair. This is new. Have you seen this yet? And so I am working on a bigger video about this whole space because there's been some really interesting challenges along the way. But I think I might be accepting that this is just gonna be a slow and steady ride. So today we're doing this wall. I'm extremely excited. So as you can see, it already has the first coat of paint on it, which I did maybe like honestly a year ago. I know. There's just so much going on. I do know kind of mentally why this whole project stopped and it's the ceiling. If we pan up here, you can see this very interesting disaster. Um, and I needed an electrician to come look at it and I couldn't get anyone to come out. And so it like mentally blocked me from working on this hallway at all. But I've now accepted that that is silly and I just need to keep going. And also I have had an electrician come out and he can totally fix it and everything. So that's exciting. Yesterday I did the call king <laughs> of this entire wall, um, which I'm very excited about because Caulking is a step that I think a lot of people skip, but it's something I will never skip because it is what makes a lot of projects look actually finished, like professional grade. So did that. And now what I have to do is paint the second and maybe third coats of paint. Cause you can sort of see that it's splotchy under here um up here is all white but this is their old glossy paint and i'm going for more of a matte paint i will also be relocating this fire it's not a fire hydrant smoke detector the thing that is going to make this wall feel really special and unique i think is my idea for the artwork i'm extremely excited about this so basically I was really inspired by this fantastic person that I follow on Instagram. I really recommend her. I will link her down below. Her Instagram is called The Dainty Squid. And I think if you like my stuff, you'll love her stuff. She is also renovating a big old house, but her house is a giant mansion. Um, it's so beautiful and she has fantastic taste, but she started a wall in her house called, I think she's calling it the wall of strangers. And it's just portraits of strangers that she sees like in thrift stores and stuff. And I just thought it was so beautiful. And suddenly this idea clicked in my head. I was like, I would love a wall full of portraits of women. I don't know why necessarily. I just think that it would be really beautiful and once the collection's built up, I think it could be actually really impactful and interesting to look at. And I think seeing all those women through, t through history looking at you <laughs> would be kind of cool. So I already have a couple and over the next, I just realized over the rest of my lifetime, I will continue adding to this wall. But for now we have a good starting point. I'm gonna do a haul of those a bit later, but first I need to paint.
So I finished painting the white and now it's time to move on to green. And unfortunately I made extra work for myself. Uh oh, this place is a mess. We need to clean up back here. But um, a while ago when I was picking the green, I couldn't find the exact shade that I wanted. So I ended up making my own shade of green by combining two shades. And so now every time I paint with this green, I, if I don't have any left over, um, I have to make my own. So we're gonna have to mix some paint. What can I, imagine this expensive microphone falls into a bucket of paint. Wow. Okay, everyone, um, I've finished doing the first coat of paint and it looks so beautiful. Um, because there was already a coat of paint with the green, this is actually its second coat of paint. I might do a couple more touch-ups, but the green is looking pretty solid. Um, I might do one more layer of the white. Um, and then once it's all dry, I will do, um, I'll probably put some tape down and do the little edges on the doors and stuff. But while it's all drying and setting, I thought it would be fun for us to go downstairs to my office. Okay, we're in my office. I'm gonna do a little art haul, but first we need to talk about today's sponsor, which I recorded a couple days ago. We are gonna thank today's sponsor of this video, which is Wayfair, who made it possible for me to make another video on their channel. That's right. So Wayfair sells furniture. They have probably any furniture item you can imagine available on their site, but they also have a YouTube channel where they are creating um, original content and I am currently making a show for them called A Style Is Born. The episode all about bohemian design has just gone live. I have a mini display of some of the miniature furniture I included for it. I even somehow managed to get miniature wooden beads. <laughs> if you like my videos, I really think you'll like this show because I write, edit, research, produce, I do it. That, it's my show. So thank you if you want to check it out. It's linked down below. And thank you to Wayfair for sponsoring this video in support of that other video. It feels cool to be sponsored kind of by my own project. So thanks for checking that out if you do. And now let's talk about the art. So the first piece I have, oh my goodness. This is a portrait of a real woman named Louisa, who was an artist herself, but also a muse for a lot of painters. Um, and I absolutely adore this portrait. I love the colors. I love her face. She looks like she's got so much going on behind those eyes. <laughs> So then next up, I'm attempting to use one of these glass frames. Well, a lot of these are glass, but you know what I mean? Like there's no backing. We'll see how we feel about the look of this. And on the back, you can see that I literally have just taped it on between the, <laughs> the two uh, pieces of glass. But hey, this is helpful. I can easily see that this is the Virgin in Prayer, which was painted, wow, between 1640 and 1650. <gasps> I'll put the name of all of these pieces down below. Um, but she's beautiful. She's stunning. She looks so reverent and thoughtful. And yeah, super into that. I also think the black frame really does work well with the actual painting. So this is a book <laughs> that's irrelevant. Um, I'm very excited about this book. <laughs> it's called Ducks by Kate Beaton a graphic memoir about a Nova Scotian woman who goes to work at the oil sands in Alberta. Fantastic, can't wait to read it, but I was actually just using it as a weight for this piece. 
Oh boy. This is a piece done by Mary Cassatt. She was one of the impressionists. You know, you think about Monet as an impressionist, Manet, uh, you think of a lot of men usually, but there were, of course, lots of women doing really cool stuff. And Mary Cassatt did a lot of these portraits of women doing really domestic things. And I just am so attracted to them. I think they're so beautiful. This one is called Young Mother Sewing. And like, there's just so much to take in here. Again, the colors are really pretty, but I, I love that she's busy looking at her sewing project. Her daughter is just looking at us. It does feel like a photograph which is really interesting. Just like all of the Impressionists, Mary Cassatt was really inspired by a lot of Japanese art. And there's a lot of examples of Japanese paintings that have a lot of these women doing domestic tasks vibes, and they're so beautiful. So I, I kind of want to find one that I really like and add it to the wall, because I think it would fit in really well. And then the fourth painting that we have for now, we gotta get up. It is this Edward Hopper painting. Look at her. Why is she so sad? Why isn't she watching the movie? Why does she have to wear these heels? There's a lot of questions here. This feels like, you know, how I said the other one feels like a photograph. This one to me feels like the scene of a scene in a movie. It feels exactly like a still, a frame from a movie. I love it. A story's being told. I was just thinking to myself, what is the next shot I need to film? But actually it's the hanging. So for me, I'm going to wait a couple hours. I'm going to see if um, I need to do more painting, more coats of paint upstairs. But once it's dry and once that's done, I'll meet you upstairs, which for you will be instantaneous. Okay, everyone, progress is good. I have done a second coat on the white section or a third coat, I don't remember, and lots of extra on the green and they're dry and they just look beautiful. They look beautiful. So now it's time to hang up the paintings. And I'm gonna do it a little bit randomly because I do wanna fill out this wall in the future. Um, so we will see how I do it. Immediately came to realize that <laughs> I put the backing on upside down. So, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. Ooh. Guys, this is gonna look so good. We could mirror what we did over there. And, but now it looks like it's waiting for something. We could have maybe something like that. We might end up making some unnecessary holes here. Hmm, it does feel pretty random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone, we did it. I feel usually with my videos, I'm like renovating an entire room and there's a complete transformation. And I feel a little like, was this anticlimactic? Maybe a little bit, but it is an upgrade in the house. This wall is now fully painted sealed. It looks so pretty. And this little art project has now begun. I've got these gorgeous starter pieces and I'm honestly extremely excited to now be on the lookout for more women that have been painted to add to this wall. I do want to mention, you may have noticed that there's a couple of holes over here. When I removed the smoke detector and the other light that was there, I created some holes and I didn't have time to spackle. So <laughs> I will fix those 
I will fix them. I've also been a little bit betrayed by the sun here because it's not even late, but it's so dark. <laughs> I feel like the hallway looks a little spooky. I don't know. I think I'm just tired. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. This was a smaller project than I usually do, but I'm really excited. Another wall in this hallway is complete. That's a big deal. Let me know which of these four ladies is your favorite down in the comments or recommend a cool painting um, that you think maybe I should add to the wall. One that I ordered and never showed up and I can't get a hold of the people. So $75 is on the line here. Um, <laughs> is this portrait of Helen Gow, I think that's what it's called, and it's, I need to have it, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go, I'll talk to you guys in my next video, bye.